Hello, it's James from xrobots.co.uk. This is part three of my Iron Man hands. Last time I made these uh, sculpts over life cast of my hands. I've then gone on to mould them and today I'm going to be making the casts. So here are the moulds I made last time, which are slick and rubber with a Modrock Plaster of Paris Bandages mother mould. So we've got obviously both hands. I'm going to be making casts in epoxy resin and the reason I'm doing that is because it's lower odour and apparently safer than using polyester resin. The plan was to make plaster casts and then vacuum form over them to make the shells. Uh, but since I've got to make a cast anyway I thought I might as well just have a go at making fiberglass ones and we'll see how those turn out. So although uh, epoxy is apparently less hazardous I still have the material safety data sheet which basically still advises you to use a respirator, which I have here, and obviously gloves and so on. So, um, according to the back of the container, I don't know if you can see that, basically the laminating version, which is what we've got, is 70 to 90 minutes pot life and 18 to 24 hours demold. So, um, the hardener is mixed in at 17 parts to a hundred parts of base product um, so it should give us plenty of working time I'm going to get a couple of coats in and then we're going to reinforce it with some fiberglass surface tissue so I've never actually used this stuff before so this is the first time I've ever tried to mix it just need to find a mixing stick as usual I'm using disposable cutlery as mixing sticks because it's quite cheap A knife with a flat blade will do. So um, it's, as I say, part 17 parts hardener to um, 100 of base or whatever. So we've got one kilogram and 170 grams. So I'm going to do 100 grams and um, 17, I guess. See how that looks. Okay, it's quite gloopy, so. Probably got far too much there, in fact. Zero the scales and try and get near enough. That's quite, uh, that's quite thick. Excellent, so there'll be, um, it's a lot thicker than polyester resin. In fact, it doesn't smell too bad at all. So that should be quite good to get gel coat in. Right, so I'm going to put the respirator on at this point. I should have really had it on before anyway. Um, just because things don't smell bad doesn't mean they're not bad for you. So I've basically covered all of the inside of the mould. The resin's clear, so you can't see it very easily. Um, I think I'm going to have to keep it moving. Um, well, you can see it running slightly. I try and keep that moving around the mould. So I can already see gaps where it's running away from the silicon. So I'll come back um, every so often and rotate those around a bit. Hopefully during the course of the cure. And then we should get... Uh, a nice even coating all over the mould. So it's the next day, the uh, resin's gone off. It's pretty much coated all of the inside of the mould. 
So I'm going to now laminate using this, which is some very fine fiberglass surface tissue. You can buy specific mat for epoxy resin, this isn't it, um, but I think it's going to be fine because it's quite thin so it should soak up the resin. I'm just going to build up a few layers inside to reinforce it. Right, so it's nearly another day later, and um, now the resin has gone off that I've laminated with. I've already demolded one of these hands. Um, if you should be able to see there, it's come out quite well. I uh, don't think there's any air bubbles in it. Obviously it needs a bit of a sanding down and it needs painting. The resin is clear, which is why it looks a bit weird. Um, obviously you can kind of see through it. but. Um, it feels pretty strong. It's still a bit tacky on the inside, so I think that still needs to cure. The resin is very slow curing. So we just need to demold the other one. So we'll just take off the mother mold and um, peel this away all the way around. There we go. Yep, yeah, looks pretty good. There's something that appears to be bubbles, but it's actually in the middle of the whole thing. So that's not actually a hole in there. It's um, probably a bubble in the laminating. But um, nonetheless, there it is. So the next thing is to um, trim those up and paint them with some primer. And hopefully we'll be able to see um, exactly how good they are. So here they are, I've painted them with grey primer and of course um, drilled a hole in the middle so the LED cluster can fit in there. Obviously they fit my hands perfectly having been sculpted over them and I can move my fingers to grip things and everything's looking good. Obviously they were sculpted over a life cast of my hands so they should be perfect. There's quite a lot of imperfections, mainly because they're a mould from the clay sculpt so I've got a few things to fill and sand on them. It's quite hard to see the imperfections before painting them with primer, which is the reason I've done that before giving them too much of a sand. So uh, on the whole, looks pretty good. Plenty of space for the LED cluster to fit in there. So um, that's the end of this video. The next video I'll be making some sort of latching mechanism with magnets so they can clip into place. Um, and also the fingers.